Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. This one's also going to be a follow-up to my last creature comparison but when I did the Indian Rhino and the Javan Rhino. But now it's time for me to compare and contrast the White Rhinoceros or Ceratotherium simum versus the Black Rhinoceros or Dicerus bicornis. So, I repeat for the final time, watch out for those horns! Now then, let's start with the similarities. First up, both white rhinos and black rhinos live in Africa. Uh, more on that later. And they both have two horns on their faces. Now with these similarities, I'm gonna end up repeating myself from the last video, but bear with me. Uh, Rhino horns are made out of keratin, which is the same substance that makes human fingernails. Also, black rhinos and white rhinos, like the Asian rhinos, have very poor eyesight, but it's more than made up for by great senses of hearing and smell. And even though they're heavy, they can run very fast and can charge at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour and can turn on a dime. And again, like with the Asian rhinos, probably the greatest pleasure in the lives of either a white rhino or black rhino is rolling around in the mud. Whenever they can, rhinos love to wallow in the sloppiest, gooeyest mud they can find. It acts both as a sunscreen and protects their skin from biting flies. And both species can commonly be found with tick birds riding around on their backs and on their faces. And the tick birds eat ticks and other parasites off of the rhino's skin. It's a form of symbiosis at its finest because the rhino gets cleaned while the tick bird gets itself a free lunch. Beyond that, the tick bird will also warn the rhino of impending danger, which is why African tribes often refer to these birds as Askari Wakifaru, which means rhino guards. Both the white rhinoceros and the black rhinoceros are usually found on the savannas of eastern and southern Africa. Sadly though, both species of African rhinos are th under threat. They are frequently killed in the thousands by poachers because poachers mistakenly believe that rhino horns have magical medicinal properties. In fact, rhino horn is now more valuable than gold on the black market. Now for the differences. For one, while both species once inhabited throughout sub-Saharan Africa, they're now found in pockets of different parts. Like for example, the black rhino is still found in South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Tanzania, and Kenya. It has been reintroduced into Botswana, Zambia, Malawi, and Rwanda. On the other horn, the white rhinoceros is now found only in South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. It's been extirpated from its range in Central Africa and Eastern Africa. And the names of these species do not refer to the color of their hides, as both black and white rhinos are actually slate gray in color, but by the shapes of their mouths and their feeding habits. The white rhino's name comes from the Dutch word Weit, meaning wide, which refers to its mouth designed for grazing on grasses and herbs. By contrast, the black rhino, like Asian rhinos, has a hook-shaped upper lip designed for browsing on twigs and low-hanging leaves. White rhinos are also much more sociable. More often than not, females and calves will sometimes join up in small groups that are called crashes. By contrast, black rhinos mostly live alone, except for mothers with calves. In terms of their overall demeanor, white rhinos are also much more docile and gentle in nature, 
and it's much easier to get closer to them, even though they do lose their tempers from time to time. Black rhinos, on the other horn, are more aggressive and charge more readily at a threat. Black rhinos are also, for the most part, more threatened. On the IUCN Red List, the black rhino is currently listed as critically endangered, and one subspecies, the West African black rhino, is already extinct. But with the overall species, numbers have rise to some degree, and there are currently between 5,366 to 5,627 black rhinos left in the wild. On the other horn, with southern white rhinos, there are currently about 19,600 to 20,000 individuals living in protected areas and private game reserves, especially in South Africa. Sadly, though, the same cannot be said for the northern white rhinoceros, because there are only two northern white rhinos left on Earth. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the white rhino and the black rhino. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be. Let's see. Uh-huh. The next one's going to be rather interesting, but I'll give you one guess as to who it is. Alpha Lion Simba, out.